Hey, it's me, Duchess, and it's time to eat. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's me, Duchess. Duke couldn't be with us today, but I am so happy that my friend Sharon is here to talk with us today. How's everybody? So today we have, um, you want to say hi, Sharon? <laughs> I can't do that. Hey, you got it. <laughs> okay, so today, y'all, we have um, lobster. We have lobster tails. We have um, crab legs, corn, mussels, and potatoes. And we're going to eat. What y'all think about our drinks here? Yes. Here, stir yours up so we can get that, so we can show them what we I got. Know, right? <laughs> bubbling, bubbling. This is like bubbling a lot more. Yeah. This is nice. Oh, let's just put this off on the side. Let's take through a toast. Yes, friendship. I don't know about that drink, but um, <laughs> I definitely, after all that, I need a shot. Exactly. Hello. <laughs> Wait a minute. Duke and Duchess. Oh, this is cute. This is mad cute. You made these? No. Actually, my cousin made these for me. Yes. Just right creations. This is cute. Give a shout out to my cousin's right creation. We'll touch close to that, too. All right. Woo. I'm like, oh, oh Jesus. Woo. So y'all, we have the Be Love special um spicy recipe sauce. Mmm. Mmm. This was a hard time setting up tonight, so <laughs> Well we got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. We got the spicy sauce. I have the um the mild sauce. It'll be here tomorrow. We got our big lobster tails tonight. Yeah, I'm liking the sauce. Mm, be love special recipe. You gotta try it with the egg. Mm. I don't know why that's so good for me. <laughs> That egg, oh, that egg is rocking. And I love boiled eggs. This one is over with the song. Right. I'm so happy you're here with me tonight, Sharon. I know, girl. I needed like a girl's night, so that's why I was like, let me call and see what she's doing. How's everybody tonight? Mm-hmm. When I be watching your videos, they be saying I be cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> I be in my bed eating my popcorn watching your videos like, you know what? I forgot to do a thumbnail. I um, always forget. I can do a thumbnail with you? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Wait. <laughs> One of those would be cute. <laughs> mm. That um, the bee love sauce is really good. The last time I did something, I did a, a, a video. I used my sauce inspired by the bee, bee love recipe. But this is the actual bee love recipe that I got off Amazon. I think it's good. What you think? Mm -hmm. you like it? Like, has my nose running a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know when you get something where you get your nose run, you know it's good. <laughs> Yeah, we got a nice little topic for you guys tonight, but we're going to eat a little bit. 
I want to eat a little bit before. I know. I was just thinking, like, you I start know talking I told about her. I want to talk about something, but I hope she don't start talking yet. <laughs> <laughs> we got to eat first. Mmm, it's kind of good and sweet. My drink's still bubbling over here. I know you hear it. <laughs> Y'all hear it? It's, since we said this, like going into like last mode. <laughs> Find out you be cooking, cooking. <laughs> you like it, it's good. You know how people say someone be cooking or they be doing something. She be cooking, cooking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you know what I wish I would have had though is that our um oh god our little um I usually have like a um like a like a um what you call it skillet keep it warm. Mm -hmm. But you know you be making me nervous. I, was, I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that. Y'all, sorry, do couldn't be with us today, but you know, he's at work making them coins for Dutch, as y'all already know. <laughs> but he'll be with me tomorrow. Duke is definitely doing a video with me tomorrow. He's making some coins for mm -hmm. Dutch. Mm -hmm. And that's why I came here to be with Duchess. Uh, so she can teach me how to get a duke. <laughs> to make some coinage for me in 2020. God is able. Yes, Will he, he do is. it? Yes, he is. What they say? All the time. Mm -hmm. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> You can share Duke with me. <laughs> she is on mask, y'all. Mm. <laughs> I know y'all be having math fun. Y'all be going mad places. Yeah, we try to. But I mean, you know, it's just like any other married couple. You know, it's the ups and downs, but. Right. You know, we try to make it work. We try to do what we gotta do for each other. So, what's going on with us seeing that you guys went um to the winery yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he makes his own wine mm -hmm. he makes it for me mm -hmm. as a matter of fact got a little glass of it right here okay got a little duchess y'all already know i gotta have a little duchess in every show almost every show so the the wine that you're drinking is like wine that he made yes okay mm -hmm. so um he made that wine in 2018 and it was ready in 2019 and now we have another batch in the basement right now for 2020. Mm -hmm. he got a new one it's a white one and it's called diamond duchess so they're all called like something duchess mm -hmm. no there is one that's called duke okay mm -hmm. duke is like semi-sweet mm -hmm. duchess is sweet now diamond duchess is sweet now what made y'all start doing that well he liked doing um he liked doing stuff like that he always like into something mm -hmm. trying to do something <clears throat> trying to figure something out so he knows that i like wine that's one thing about him he knows that i like wine and he want to do what he have to do so, if I drink wine, he gonna do what he can to make sure he's a. I have a lifetime supply. Okay. <laughs> That's just him. Okay. I'm not trying to be like boastful and trying to like like big him up more than what he do, but that's what he do. Girl, big him up. That's what he do. I like wine, so he gonna make it for me. Right. I love him for that. And mm -hmm. because in a re in a relationship. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're doing what 
makes her mate happy. Right. So, like, he knows we like wine, so right. he mm-hmm. made it into his hobby. So, he's going to, mm-hmm. you know, make sure that I'm happy. Make sure he do what he have to do as a man. That's 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 all it is. And vice he's the definition. He's the definition of a what a man should do for his wife. <laughs> you can see I'm new with this because she's like I keep using a napkin and she's oh like, yeah you gotta get messy with this thing and she's you still know. she's still like <laughs> I'm like mm. I should have got you another plate huh so you can like put something on. Okay. Well, it's okay. You know, I should have told you that we get messy around here. Yeah, get to use your fingers. Get messy. Get all this right here and just you know, lick your finger. Wait, because when, oh, <laughs> when you first gave me this for play, and you're like, okay, we're gonna do this. I was like, with the potatoes. I was like, she didn't give me a fork. <laughs> oh my god! I had to tell her to get a fork before. She- <laughs> And I was like, oh, it's only potato and egg, baby. I don't use. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, gotta, gotta excuse me. <laughs> Boo, That's what I am. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I have it bad. I'm sorry. Any of my friends know me, they know um, Boo Jetto is hell. <laughs> All my friends be like that too, Sharon. They be like, where's the pork? I'm like, we're using our hands. I mean, not like that. <laughs> if I was at home, I would be too. But I was like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna move. All right. So, um, you date anybody, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> you could date me. <laughs> she could date me, y'all. So you said I had to sit up for this. Am I dating anyone? Mm-hmm. Um, is this live? This is not live, no. Okay, this is not live. Okay, so I can talk to you. Okay. Um, I'm going to post it. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> so people are going to see. That's yeah. what I meant. Like, yeah. Is this going to yeah, be something post that... It. But you know what? So dating, what's the definition of dating? The definition of dating is that means I don't have anybody that I have that I have to answer to. Right. So nowadays with men, you have to ask them specifically, are you dating someone? Is there someone who thinks that they're dating you? Right. Are you engaged? Are you Mm -hmm. married? Mm -hmm. Is there someone that you live with? Mm -hmm. Is there someone who thinks that you're engaged? Did you give someone a ring? Right. You have to ask like eight or nine different questions. Right. Because they'll deviate from the actual topic. Mm Mm-hmm. So am I dating someone? Yes, I'm dating several people. Mm Mm-hmm. Um... Does that mean that I am active or sexually active with several people? No. That means I go on dates, I go to eat, Mm -hmm. I go to the movies, Mm -hmm. I go to functions. And can anybody at any point in time ask me any questions about anything? No. No. Right. Because I pay my own bills. Right. I take care of myself. Mm -hmm. I'm an independent woman. Mm -hmm. And I think nowadays that I'm not in a relationship because men want you to dumb down. Mm. And I refuse to dumb down. So because I'm not dumbing down, then I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think that I'm crazy. And I think that men are crazy. No, not all of y'all. Because some of y'all are like some boss men. Mm-hmm. Okay? But a majority of y'all boss men. Mm-hmm are in relationships case in point (laughs) you know what i'm saying you know and i respect that you Mm -hmm. know like there's you know there's only a few mohicans left right there's only a few real men and you know and i'm there may be one out there for me maybe one day yeah but i don't tolerate nonsense like uh, you know, like men nowadays are like, can I come over? Can mm-hmm. I chill? And I'm like, for what? It's like 12 o'clock. Like, mm-hmm. what, are we, what are we chilling for at 12 o'clock? Right. Like, if you come to my house at 12 o'clock, like, where are we chilling at? Mm-hmm. I'm tired. Trying to go to sleep. Yeah, and they're like, well, you don't have, um, what, is it, what is the phrase that men use? 
So y'all ladies listen to this. So when you hear this, that means like they're trying to run game on you. Um, you don't have any self control. Like you mm -hmm. don't think that you can control yourself around me. Mm -hmm. No, I do. That's why you're not coming over. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like you're not coming over. That's right. why I control myself. Like right. what are you coming to my house for? Exactly. Like And that is the truth. It's like the mm -hmm. the seventh of the month. Right. I mean, not today's day, but it's the seventh of the month. Mm -hmm. Are you bringing some money over for a bill? Mm hmm And then they say, why would I be doing that? Mm. I'm like, okay, why would you be coming over? Right. Like, mm -hmm. if I pay my own bills and you're right. coming over here and you're not, right. it's not beneficial for me. Right. Anything that I can do with you, I can do. I'm sorry. Is this like a PG-13 mm -hmm. reel? No. Mm -hmm. I can Go do ahead. it for myself. Hello? So, why do I need to be with you? Right. So, um. Well, this is one of the reasons why I'm so happy that. Wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh. Comment down below. <laughs> in her comment section, if you are single and you need a duchess. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go to eat. <laughs> sing, it. sing it for me. Sing it, girl. Sing it for me. It's to get duchess. <laughs> hey. Say and take her to E. And take her to E. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. But it's not about about taking me to E. Like, you know, I believe in taking care of my man. Yes, of course I do. Like mm -hmm. it's it's I'm I believe in being equally yoked. Right. So it's you do a, for like, me, I'm going to do for you. Right. I'm going to make you happy just as happy as you make right. me. But I think I'm, it's hard now when he says dating. Now in these days, dating, like, I don't know, I listen to, like, other people. I just like, mm, that's a lot. Like, girl, guys, now in these days, I'm so happy my man is, like, old school. Guys now in these days, he tripping. Like, they want to come to your house before they even, like, do anything for it. Do anything. You go out, nothing. They don't want to go out. They want to come to your house first. Mm -hmm. Is that true? This is what I hear. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. when, I, when my husband and I was dating, he was taking me out and all. It was a lot he had to do. <laughs> take take you out? Like, what am I taking you out for? I can take, I can take anybody out. <laughs> Why can't I come over? That's what they say. Why can't I come over? Movies. I don't do movies anymore. Mm -hmm. Who goes to the movies? Guys are crazy now. Like, who goes to the movies? I do. I'm so happy I'm not dating in these in these times, in these days. Yeah. Because yeah. I went, I would be single, I think. Mm -hmm. Guys are crazy. But you know what you got to do? You got to get you an older man. That's what I said. Mm hmm You know, older men are, those be the ones that. That's what I said. Like, about 70, 75. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I'm, I'm like no, six, these, like that. 58, 59, something like that. Cause those um, no, those are the ones who be acting up too. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. They know somebody know. They don't got a little piece of action. <laughs> yeah, those ones who be acting up too, like the fifties, the fifties. Oh my god. Yes, I'm telling you, those ones who be acting men up. in their fifties be acting up. Yes, if I think like if you are a man, I figured out if you are forty mm -hmm. to forty-five, you are at that age. You should have a career. But most men have a career, right? Right. And they're like building off their career, mm -hmm. and they're they're focused on their career, and they have somebody, right? And they're establishing whatever they have. Mm -hmm. Now, if you meet a man forty-five to fifty, and he's single. He has his career, mm -hmm. and what he's doing is, look, y'all done spilt the sauce on the shirt. It's so juicy Oh, and my stuff. God. <laughs> it's okay. But <laughs> then, it's all juicy and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but if you date a man yet who's, like, 45, 50, mm -hmm. then their career is established, and they're not, at that point in time, they're established and they're traveling. They want to just travel, so they don't really have time. And then if you meet someone who's over 50, then they're settled. They don't really have, they don't have time. Just like if you meet a woman who's in their 50s, mm -hmm. then 
They don't have time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where I'm at. I don't, I don't have. I, don't I mean, you time. know, you yeah. know, like you, you heard it all. Mm -hmm. You've been through it all, and can't nobody tell you nothing. So you're not gonna just tell me anything, right? Now in these days, I don't know. Like when I be hearing people, I'm like, oh god, my girl, I'm glad I'm not going to help now. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it's too much. But you know what? I, I honestly think I'm not really like in this like in that world right now. But I honestly think that a guy is only going to do what you allow him to do. And I honestly feel like. A lot of women, like, women have a lot of, like, God, I think God made us a way, in a way, that a lot of people haven't tapped in yet. And I know from experience, guys are only going to do what you allow them to do. So when you lay the cards on the table, you don't have to ask a guy, like, what you want to do or what's going on. You can tell a guy, I, if you like a guy call him up and say hey I want to date you but this is this is this is what it means to date me and tell him no you cannot come over here at night in the middle of the night we have to go on at least a few days you have to get um where's your results <laughs> I want to see you get like some test results before we take this relationship further guys will do anything I don't know what it is, but I just kind of feel like even like back in the day, even when I was younger, I just kind of felt like it was a lot of women that I was around and I would look at them and be like, dang, you don't even know what you have. This is what you tell a dude. You tell him what you want from him. Let me tell you something. I was in this abusive relationship for a long time. This is my testimony. I ain't never told nobody. I, ain't never, you, I never told you this story. And a lot of people I know don't know this story. I was with this abusive guy for years. And for some reason, I would let him fight me, but he could not come over unless he was paying bills. And that's what he did. Every time he was not, he knew for sure that if he was coming around here, every bill that I had, he was paying. Every last bill. And back then, I ain't had that too many bills. I had a little furniture bill. Had a little light bill. Had a little like um, subsidized rent. That's what I had back then. And it probably was like no more than $250, $300 altogether. But that's what he paid every month. <laughs> that's what he paid every month because that was my standards. Like, I was like in this relationship where he was fighting me. But my my top notch, the most standard was, you not coming over here unless you paying bills. And that's what he paid. I learned a valuable lesson with that. Um, I'm like, okay. After God finally delivered me from hell, I always thought about that. Like, wait a minute. The next guy I date, ain't gonna be no fighting. And he's going to have to pay the bills. Right. He's going to have to work. I'm not being with nobody that's going to be abusive to me. Mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm not going to be with nobody like that. When I met my husband, when we were dating, this is what I told him from the jump, from the beginning. If you want to date me, this is what it is. If you, if you can't handle that, then we can't be together. As simple as that. And I just... At the beginning, before you even have sex, before even all of that, before you even go through all of that, this is the law that I lay. And if you can't handle that, then move on. Because if you put your hands on me, I'm calling the cops. If you think you're coming over here in the middle of the night, that's not about to happen. I'm cutting you off and blocking you. <laughs> you can't call me to say, this is what we about to do. Um, let's go out. Let's have some fun. I want to get to know you. Um, then I don't want nothing to do with you. In a relationship, my husband and I have been together for two decades. I'm not going to pretend like we never had any arguments, any fights, any disagreements because that would be a lie. But it's a certain level that he know 
that he cannot cross because as a woman because he know and this is what I've told him from the beginning so he knows this he, we, we not crossing these levels no matter what so um unless he just not trying to be with me no more I mean, you want to cross these you can cross if you want baby but <laughs> we just know we won't be together anymore and that's it and then you know what I think a man when they realize that they that you love yourself they love you and they respect you like the way you love and respect yourself. I don't know. I, I don't know. It seems like that works for me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't wow. know. Let me tell you. That's because, once again, you have, there is a man and a boy. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when you met him, men were men. Nowadays, men come far but few. And, and don't get me wrong, there mm -hmm. are lots of men out there. Mm -hmm. But those men are in relationships. Those men, like you said, are, are taking care of home. And, and unless you meet them and they're out of that relationship for whatever reason, and you just by chance meet that man, mm -hmm. all of the people who left are these men who have been in relationships where they're damaged. Mm -hmm. Just like we get damaged, they, they, they're damaged. Right. And I have an answer for that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I lay, I lay, I lay my, my standards down from the door and I say, mm -hmm. listen, this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to dates, we're going to do this, you're not coming to my house. Mm -hmm. And they say to me, well, pretty much if you're saying that I need to, I need to take you on dates, I need to do this, I need to do that, then that means that you're saying that I need to pay for it. And I've, I've I've never done that. I'm not paying right. for it. And I'm like I don't think that's paying for it. I think that's just that's dating. Right. Like no, it's not paying for it. And that, if that and if that's your mentality, I don't even want to date you. Right. That's what I would tell somebody quick. If somebody wants to tell me taking me out on dates and spending money on me means I'm paying for something. Paying for what? First of all, I didn't even say I was giving you anything. That's first of all. <laughs> <laughs> that's first and foremost. Never said. But if you want to hang out with me then this is what it is so and if you and if you can't handle that then next move on i told someone who i was recently dating that and he said okay so why you know there's tons of other women that i could be calling dates but why would i be doing that with you well why why aren't you calling these other women yeah call them then but you're calling okay. them don't talk to them don't talk to that guy don't talk to him. If a guy can open up his mouth and say something like that, he's not for you. That's not the guy. That's not he's that's not the one. He's not the one. So if a guy open up his mouth and say something disrespectful, that's like um I had a guy say something like that to me years ago. Mm -hmm. And I cut him off. He was 86 quick. I said that um I was like really in the church and I was trying to save myself for the Lord Jesus. Lord help me. And he opened up his mouth and was like, um, well, nobody else had to wait. I'm like, okay, well, hey, but you do. So I'm moving moving forward. Right. And then I cut him off because obviously you're not on, mentally, you're not on the level that I'm trying to be on. And you're not going to like, um, you're not going to make me feel insecure about what I'm trying to do with my life and how I'm trying to um, do what I had to do for myself. It doesn't matter what I've done before you. Just like um, even me now, like it, I have a I have a past. My husband knows knows my past. He knows everything that I've been through, everything that I've um gone through in life. He knows. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? When I got when I got with him, like yeah, I'm not doing this no more though. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So th I'm set, I have to set a standards for myself, and I don't want nobody in my presence that's going to try to make me feel like less than what I think that I am. Right. You're not going to be in my presence. Um, so peace. So that's, you know, that's just the way I want. I'm not going to, I'm not even entertaining you because there are so many guys out there that, let me tell you, there's so many people out there that what will, will, will worship the ground you walk on. Can I just show how big this lobster is? Yeah, go ahead. You know how y'all go to Red Lobster <laughs> and get a lobster and you'd be like, so like, oh my gosh, look how big this yeah, put it right. to the camera. Go like that. Put it all the way to the camera. How big Ooh. this lobster is. This looks yes. like a piece of chicken. <laughs> right? It's like a 
the boneless chicken. <laughs> Let me flip it on the other side so you can see. Like, I'm so see. Look how big this looks like a piece. Does this not look like a piece of chicken? Look at this. It's a lobster. That's crazy. Like, I actually ordered that from Mom, Alaska. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I just want to thank John for sponsoring this um video. Thank you, baby. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So. What was I saying? Oh God, this is the point. I don't know. I was sidetracked by the. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but all I know is, well, guys, you can't. I can't remember what I was saying, but I do know, like, well, guys, you can, you just can't. I don't care what anybody, guys, girls, family members, anybody in your life, you just can't let people treat you. Um the way they want to treat you These toxic relationships yeah no matter what relationship it is no matter what who it is it, it, it don't have to just be a guy it don't just have to be a significant other somebody that you're with it could just be like friends friends family relationship Sister, guys. Brother. but especially with guys it's like you know people nobody people are only going to do what you allow them to do in your life um i'm like a person that think about the big like thing the big picture and i i have like i have a sister um i talked about in my last video we don't talk right now but i remember her saying to me um every time she come around the family this is what people say to her this this is what they're doing um she's fighting she's arguing and um my answer is always nobody do that with me nobody's doing that with me and i'm sorry that that's happening to you but it's something that you have to do for yourself because when i go around nobody's trying to fight me nobody's nobody's coming at me because there's a certain way that i carry myself is a certain way that it's a certain level of respect that i'm gonna that i demand and um if you can't if I can't get that level of respect, I don't want to be around you. I'm not even entertaining you. Right. So, I think, I don't know. Like, I remember when I was in the church a long time ago, um, this pastor, his name was Pastor Matilda. He was in the mm. pulpit. i never forget this. Um, how old I am know. I? You know Pastor Matilda? Yeah. I was like 40. I don't know. I'm 40. Hold on now. I think I'm 42. I think I might be 42 or either 43. I think I'm 42. I was born in 77. So I'll be, I'm either 42 or 43. But anyways, Pastor Matilda, this was years ago. Um, I probably was like 23, 24 when I got this message. And he was like, um, he was like, you know, stop dating these people that you're so attracted to because you're attracted to the ones that treat you like shit. He didn't say shit, but pretty much he should have said it you're attracted to this bomb and this is the type of like um spirit that you're attracted to so you know when he comes around you like that start dating a person and being around a person that's um that you're not you're not ready to like jump in bed with all oh, quick date that person that's gonna be the person that's for you and i remember he said that to me and then i was like okay he said it to me, but I received it. I was in the audience, right. like, yes, I received this. He said it to yeah. me. Yeah. You know, you church, like, right. He talking to me. He talking to know. me. Yeah. Going through this. Right. So, so I started dating these guys that I was so like super uber attracted to, because that was the woman beater. That was the womanizer. You know right. what I'm saying? That was right. the one that um I was so for some reason attracted to. Then I started to um date guys that. No, I wouldn't normally, you know, that's not no, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go out. But then I met this guy. And um, and when I was looking at him, I was like, yeah, no, this, this, he not my type. But I kept, I kept um, remembering this sermon. Like, you know what? I'm going to give this guy a chance. And um, I'm not going to say give him a chance, but I'm going to like go out with him. I'm going to spend some time with him, see what's going on here. So I started spending some time with this guy and um, he was just so like, we'll go out and he'll be like, oh, I got it. I got this. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Look at him. I'm like, okay, thank you. 
I remember a time when my lights was cut off and he was like, um, I'll pay for that. I got it. So I'm looking at him like, you will? Thank you. Then he stayed with me for three days until my lights got cut back on. I was hungry. My kids was real little. I'll get you a couple groceries. So it was just like, oh, okay. So as the time went on, I was just like, you know what? This, wow. <laughs> this dude is amazing. <laughs> this dude is amazing. So I wanted to date. I wanted to go. I wanted to do certain things. Um, you know, like the fast forward a little bit. We like, okay, yeah, let's, you know, let's go. Let's hang out. Let's do this. We decided we, we together now. We together. We end up getting like an apartment together. And I remember when we when we got the apartment. Well, no, he moved in with me, and then something happened, and I kept saying my apartment because that was the mentality I had. I had. I was like my apartment. This is my apartment, and this and all of that. I was I was used to dealing with like people, where I had to like make it clear that this is my shit. And so he got he packed up his stuff and he moved out. Like yeah, no, you know what I'm saying. So I ended up moving with him, where he paid the bills there. <laughs> you know what? Women be on a whole nother level. I'm like, when your man pays, you, you be on a whole nother level. Like, what you want to cook, man? You want me to cook? <laughs> <laughs> you be on a whole nother level when your man in control of things. So I um I moved in with him, and then eventually we got an apartment in his name in their history like you know what i'm saying so we got so we ended up getting married i was i was like <laughs> see, if i had some if i had some tea i would be like with some popcorn i was looking at her like story. we ended up getting married so let me tell y'all though after we got married after we got married a year later, we bought a house. Then all of a sudden, he started doing like other things. Like I didn't know that he could build a deck. I was already married to this dude for a year. He built a whole deck in my backyard. He rebuilt my whole kitchen. It was just like, I'm just looking every day like, oh my God, like I'm, we've been together for like over 17 years. And he always seemed to amaze me and surprise me. Still to this day, I just be looking like, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. It's like falling in love all over again, over and over and over and over. And sometimes that's just what it is. Cause like, like that one guy that you be like, oh, okay, look like he got the anaconda. He about to lay it to me, give it to me, give it to me. All that type stuff. That, that type dude, that, he don't be the one. No. He ain't the one. Mm -hmm. If you want, if you want love, if you want commitment, if you want relationship, um, I don't know. I think you just kind of got to like give that one dude a chance. That's like, if be people in your face, like, I love you. I want to be with you. I would just, please let me show you. And we just won't give him a chance because sexually we're not attracted to him. Um, I told a group of women years ago while I was in the church, I was young and I was like, um, back in the day. Sex came with love. You know, you you fall in love first, and then sex come behind that. And um, they wasn't feeling me. They were older women too. They was not feeling that. Like, what if you get married to a guy? You waiting for them to have to have sex, and then what if you get married to him, and then sex is not great? Um, you know what? Sex become great when you are in love. True. I yeah. agree. So it's like. <laughs> Hey, we're going to be all in love with this dude with the gray sweatpants that you can see, you know what I'm saying, some shit going down and you ready, like, yeah, I'm about to have sex and he don't want you. That's all he wants is to do it to you real quick and, and let you go. Or you're going to be like, okay, this guy that really want to spend time with you, really want to get to know you, really want to um, treat you like the queen that you are, are you going to give that dude a chance? I think that, um, I agree. For me, it's it's a mental thing. If mentally you are stimulating me, then you are going to stimulate me sexually. Yeah. I'm if, I'm not, if I'm not feeling you mentally, yeah. like, it's, <laughs> Oops, <laughs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> but people don't see that. Right. I'm like that, too. 
mentally I have to be like stimulated. I'm not like a That's 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 how I that's how I am yeah. though. And I don't know, but it's just I don't know. Before it was like I thought because I was like my first boyfriend was like abusive mm -hmm. and I just did what he said and I was very obedient and so like to me then sex was a chore. Right. So I, I took it as a chore. Yeah. And then as I became older, I realized like no, like you know, like I'm gonna be tired of you. Mm. Like if we if we're doing this, eventually I'm gonna get tired. Right. I don't wanna be with you no more. Exactly. Like because mentally there's no attraction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you are constantly, we're constantly evolving. You're constantly teaching me things. We're constantly growing together. Mm -hmm. Then this yeah. is gonna be like that's amazing. This is an amazing. My husband and I are open to like everything. And one thing I love about him too. Um we love about each other because one we were friends before we started being like intimate and all of that so i'm able to express to him and tell him everything that i feel whatever it is but he's and vice versa whatever it is he can tell me and i'm not gonna be like jumping up the deep edge like oh my god because you know what people are human everybody have like certain things with them and if you can't share it with nobody then it's like you know you keep that stuff bottled up inside you have to be able to like talk and share with your man, with your woman, the things that the deep down things that you can't tell nobody but that's how you know. And please do not think that this is like a man bashing thing because there are tons of men who I know go through this and who mm -hmm. have problems mm -hmm. and all women are not perfect. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of women who dog men out. Right. But we are talking on perspectives of we're women. Right. And we're talking from our own experience. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you're a man and you're experiencing this type of thing, comment mm -hmm. down below to her page. Right. <laughs> and Hello. give her some ideas <laughs> that she can talk about mm -hmm. with her husband. Mm -hmm. And when her husband's on her next show with her, then he can address that stuff and he can talk from his standpoint mm -hmm. and he can represent the men right. and maybe they can have a husband and wife thing and then she can talk about what she thinks he can talk about what he thinks and you know they can help you guys out as a couple right mm -hmm. but today is a girl's day so yeah. <laughs> sorry girl's day <laughs> but you know what that was good yeah that was a good topic what y'all yeah. think comment below that was a really good topic you know what? I just want to thank everyone for watching. If you made it this far in this video, I want you to click subscribe right now. Click subscribe and the notification button so that you can see when we're updating, when we're doing new videos. I'm updating new videos. I'm putting new videos down. And I'm trying to grow this channel every day. Right now we have a little over 100 subscribers and I'm really excited about it. Okay? My goal is to get a 1,000 subscribers by March. So hopefully, March 2020, I'll have my 1,000 subscribers that I wanted. Uh, thanks for the love, everyone. Till next time.